Hey, Blake here with SmallEngineAdviceForDummies.com. I apologize for the absence of videos that I have uh, been making. Uh, this will be the first one in a while. Um, I'm here to show you a project that I'm making that I heard about uh, from one of my friends. So this, if you look at it real close, it's the bottom portion of an outboard motor. Now, right here you have a clutch. This was a Ted Williams. And this clutch is a transmission. What it does is if you look right here at this little knob, right there, the little tiny one, when it's in here, and pop down in there like that, you've got another knob right here. Let's see if it'll show that. Yeah, when it's like this, it's neutral. It stops the motor from spinning while uh, you're buzzing along there stops the motor from spinning or excuse me not the motor stops the propeller down here from spinning and only lets the motor spin and then you pop it into gear like that and it lets it go now the funny part is the old motor came to me in pieces and I figured what the heck let's do what Bobby did put a boat motor or uh, a lawnmower engine on it so what I've got here is a six horsepower or maybe six and a half I'm not sure Craftsman Eager One uh, lawnmower engine which is uh, actually a Tecumseh I got no oil in it so I can turn it over like this it's a little bit dirty on the bottom there but anywho you see this round harmonic balancer this whole deal here in the middle this little round circle here the clutch and this boat motor fits right on there and it's perfect so what I'm going to do is tack weld the clutch on there yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna tack weld right around all the way around and then my friend Jordan is a very good welder I'm not the best he's going to run a bead all the way around here for me uh, in the near future and once that's done, then all we have to do is set the lawnmower engine on top of the boat motor. Let's see if I can give you an example here. Let's see. Can you see that? There we go. It'll look something like this. It'll look something like that right there with the boat motor or with the uh, lawnmower engine on there. Once that's all, once I've run um, extensions up here, I'm going to weld to the bottom and make motor mounts all the way around for this motor to fit in there. And then I'll have a four horsepower, or excuse me, six horsepower. Um, I will have a six horsepower four stroke boat engine and the reason I got it came up with this idea is because most two most places now don't allow two strokes on like uh, the lakes and such so I decided what the heck it costs a couple couple hundred bucks into the thousands to get four or uh, four stroke motor so I figured I'd make one if I can make one you know and with it being that easy, I'll keep you updated on what I do here. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you're watching this just from YouTube, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.